Welcome to Thought for February the 20th. Our readings are taken from Exodus 31 and 32, Psalm 89, and 1 Corinthians chapters 1 and 2. Our thought today is, I will blot out of my book. It is interesting in how many parts of scripture we find the words blot and blotting used to indicate that God is so angry he is wiping out someone or some people. The worst case was in the time of Noah, Genesis chapter 6. We encounter them today in Exodus. Our chapters today portray the fickleness of human nature. Moses is away up in the mountain. Joshua is with him for 40 days. That is a relatively long time when you are camped with very little to do. The same applies to today, but worse. Year after year, with no thought of there being a God, no long-term future, people say or think, let us experience all we can now. The gods of pleasure and leisure now dominate human minds. But we ourselves have no excuse. We have God's word to feed on, chew over, as much as we may desire. And his word provides a great variety of mind-nourishing and heart mind and heart challenging material for our prayerful meditation. Are we really doing this? In the time Moses is with him on the mount, the Lord is aware of the attitude that is developing down in the camp. He says to Moses, I have seen this people, and behold, it is a stiff necked people. Now therefore, let me alone that my wrath may burn against them. Chapter 32, verses 9 and 10. Can we compare the absence of Moses with the absence of Christ? There has been keen anticipation of Christ's return and the promised land of the kingdom in the brotherhood for some 150 years now. And this reached its peak with the deliverance of Jerusalem from the Turks over a hundred years ago. Then the Brotherhood was full of anticipation of the imminence of Armageddon and the advent of the kingdom when Israel became a nation. But as with Moses' seeming delay in the mountain, how many of us feel, at least subconsciously, that our Lord seems to be delayed in his return? Our world offers an increasing number of distractions. How interesting travel can be. Many, up until 2020, ran to and fro. And what fascinating mind-consuming inventions now exist? Knowledge has increased incredibly. We know well these words in Daniel chapter 12, verse 4. But is verse 10 so readily in our minds? And none of the wicked shall understand, but those who are wise shall understand. How full and convicted of mind are we in our understanding? In all the crises that occurred when Moses came down from the mountain, verse 33 stands out. The Lord said to Moses, Whoever has sinned against me, I will blot out of my book. If we, having left Egypt, are now letting our minds wander and become absorbed in the ways that surround us, and in a sense worship the fascinating things and experiences our world thrusts before us, then are we not more or most likely to be among those of whom God says, I will blot them out of my book? This is food for the deepest meditation. Well, thank you for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, remembering that it is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Mm -hmm.